It is the Great Aussie Coin Hunt. Hello and welcome to a special episode of Bungo Collects. So we've got a product review for you. Uh, and also I've got uh, a coin set to show you that I've never ever seen before, never had before, and it's a complete set, so I'm gonna got that to, to go through as well. So the product review, and it's for products that's been provided by Raftree. Um, so Raftree very kindly sent us, uh, sent us these for free, and I'll tell you what it is we need, what we need. So Raftree, as you might already know, uh, they provide the inserts to our albums, and they also provided our, um, the, the mats that we do. Uh, you can buy them from www.raftree.co.uk. And what I do is I contacted Mark and I said that um, I have my date runs of 50p's and I don't have any inserts for the missing for the missing dates. So this is the uh, this is the album that uh, runs from 1969 right the way through. Um, date run first, larger ones first, going all all the way through to it. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to fill the blanks in here with the inserts, and then it'll look a lot. A lot better than it uh, than it currently does because I don't like not knowing what uh, what what. So let's see what Mark has sent us. So he sent it into the PO box. So anyone, please feel free to send us a letter or what have you. And everything we get sent to the PO box, we open on camera. I'm super prepared prepared this time, and I've opened up the I've opened up the envelope, ready to go. So let's see what we've got in here. Mm -hmm. So. Have a lot of customized products for coin tubers, and there's the uh, email address. No, it's not. That's the uh, what's it called again? Website for Raftree. So very good. We'll stick that uh, down there. So we've got a nice letter as well. Lovely uh, butterfly logo there. Ah, there's the email address: info at raftree.co.uk. So it says, "Hi, here are the NIFC inserts we made for you." We've also enclosed a small sign with our details on that you might want to use if you give us a shout out in any future videos. Really enjoy watching your videos. Hope you hear, hope to hear more of our Bungle Collects on tour soon. Alice and Luke say hello. Hope you like the inserts, Mark. So hello back to Alice and Luke. Hi guys. So there we go, we'll leave, we'll leave that up there so we know that uh, Raftree has provided it. And I say these were provided free of charge. Um, as a thank you for all the promotion that we do, because um, Mark originally, yeah, oh, and I wouldn't cut through Lady MC in case no, we. Get the yeah, you're probably yeah. right. Oh, well, actually, you might be able to get through. Right, you get through there, Just be careful, yeah. Like that. At least it'll give you a bit of an average. So, Mark originally sent us our, our coin album inserts, and then we give him a shout out every time we can. He's also in the description of, of all our videos where you can get the, the products from. And when I contacted him about uh, buying some more inserts, he very kindly said, oh, we'll send you some for all the promotion that you do for us. So that was very kind mm, of him. Was, yeah. So here we go. So these are the uh, inserts, and they've got the channel logo on the back. And on the front is hopefully all the all the years that we need to fill the to fill the album. Lady M's just said there, so I sped through that part of the video just to lay them out. Lady M said that uh, there's lots of NIFCs, so it'll be interesting to see whether 2020 is an NIFC. Because yeah. uh, we won't know for definite whether it's going to come into circulation yet, so we've got that uh, in, in preparation. Just stick that up there. And uh, yeah, Mark also sent us the insert for the Brexit coin, which we hopefully that we find. And uh, the other thing that Mark's done is that uh, he's provided these inserts to give with the uh, the Sunday prize draw winner. Oh, so the um, on a on a Sunday uh, we we we've been doing for the last kind of few who is it five we've done maybe it's five yeah, or six. six. We've been doing a live prize draw on a Sunday, and people have been able to take the coin away. Uh, if you win the prize draw, we then do a coin hunt in front of you, and you get to pick which coin you want us to send you. So Mark's idea was to provide a few of these, so we can also stick one of these in as well. So uh, last Nanny Sue won last Sunday's, so yeah. we'll be including 
one of these in Nanny Sue's uh, prize as well. So obviously Mark must be expecting us to do a few uh, prize draws mm -hmm. later. Because we've got uh, plenty, plenty of Sundays to, to go on. from there. Yeah. Right, so what we'll do is we'll click uh, we'll click our fingers and hopefully all the next time you see us, all these will be in the album. We'll show you what a difference I think it makes to the it makes to the album. So are you ready? Ta-da! There we go. So they are all now magically appeared into the into the album. We're going to have to lift the uh, the camera up slightly just so we can give it, we can see all of it because the album's uh, a little bit bigger. So just go up a little bit. There we go. We'll try that, Lady M. Thank you. Just tighten that up. Are we there? Yeah. Champion. Right. Okie dokie. So let's we can slide that there, and I think we can just about see them. So stick them there. Right. So yeah, there we go. There's all the all the years in. So as you probably agree, they look so much better than just having uh, just having blank spaces. It shows you how many coins we still have to find, Lady M. I'm thinking, yeah, there's not that many, but uh, there's absolutely plenty of the old uh, the old big fifty p's. And of course, in the in the in the um, still circulating coins or the or the size of the uh, the the smaller size fifty p, we know that we need uh, two thousand nine, ten, eleven. 16, 18 as well to go in there. And I've put a little question mark against 2020 because Mark might know something that we don't. And is it going to be an NIFC or not? But we've got one there just when the, the time is right. So yeah, really pleased with that, Mark. Thank you very much. I really do like the in inserts. I think the great uh, the great value. Obviously, we got the, we did get these for nothing. Mark kindly sent us them for nothing, just like our other inserts. But I think they're the great value. And you can have your own design as well, Lady M. Yeah. yeah, you don't absolutely. have to have a, a bungle. It can be anything you want. You can send Mark a photo of what you're after. Yeah. And you can do uh, made-to-measure inserts. I'll just quickly show you our 50p album as well. So we've added the, at the very back, we've added the Brexit one. So we've got Paddington at St Paul's and then we're ready for when the uh, when Brexit comes as well. So thank you very much for that, Mark. Really, really appreciate that. So let's see what else we've got in, st in store for you install in store in store for you so so this is a set that uh, i've wanted wow. for a little while i'm sure richard bravin will uh, will like it this looks awesome um and i say i really fancied it i uh, wasn't able to um wasn't able to get one from australia unfortunately or anybody who lived in australia wasn't able to send me one but i was able to buy one in this country um and uh yeah what was that pay 40 I think I paid £44, I think it was, included postage. Mm. So if you haven't already guessed, it is the Great Aussie Coin Hunt. So this is uh, the $1 coins from uh, from Australia, and they've done an A to Z, just like what you have with our 10Ps. In fact, I'm sure they've done it before. I don't think this is the first time that they've, uh, they've done it. So it's in a lovely sleeve, I think. There we go. Do you want to just slide that out? Oh Ta-da. And we'll move, the, we'll move the sleeve out of the way. And this is the uh, this is the set. So it's everything uh, where we have quintessentially British A to Zs. This is everything to do with Australia and celebrating everything that Australia has to offer. So let's uh, let's have a look. Celebrating Australia mm. from A to Z. And he's the first. Uh, he's the first list. First set. This will be interesting, lady. I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see it. Trying to uh, pronounce some of these. So we've mm. got. Uh, so there's the A for the one dollar Australian post. All right. B is for boomerang. Boomerang, Surely. obviously. Good day. <laughs> um, we've got C for it's got to be cricket. Cricket, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. D for didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. <laughs> Let's have a look. Are they brilliant on circulating? Not sure. Who cares? So there's a nice, uh, there's <laughs> a nice didgeridoo. One dollar didgeridoo. And of course, you've got to take it out because you've got to be able to show the uh, the obverse, haven't you? So there is Her Majesty. IRB portrait there. Look. 2019 set. Mm. So I'm pleased with that. Is that, is that a mark? I think that's just a, is that just I think a bit of mark. It's just off you, I think. Nah. nah. <laughs> right. What's uh, what's a lady? Uh, it looks like a bot. Like a uh, what we would call a cool box, but an e esky. That's the one. I knew they called it something different, but I couldn't remember what it was. There to, we go. To keep the tinnies cool. The tinnies cool. Absolutely. <laughs> We're just gonna butcher a few. Uh, uh, Bonza, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna butcher a few uh, Australian accents. I'm sure we'll be by the time we're finished. Right. F well, for footy. Footy, yeah. Yeah, so that's their is there Amer is that uh, is it Australian rules they call yeah. it? Is it like yeah. American football sort of thing? And good day, good day, good day, sport, good day, little ripper, Bonza. <laughs> but another shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> 
And then we've got, uh, I mean, with all the love of anyone's watching this from Australia, we do have a few people that watch from Australia as well, so yeah. sorry. Right, H, what's that? Uh, $1 Hills Hoist, does that say? Let's have a, let's have a little look. Know. I know a little bit about hoists, but I don't know what this uh, what this is. It looks like a ro what you hang your washing on. Uh, or is it a, um, like an umbrella to keep the, keep the sand the sand off your back when know. you're down putting a shrimp on the barbie? I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. Anybody know what Hills Hoist is? Richard Bravin will know he's part, uh, he's part Australian. Right, okay. I'm sure. Oh, is that the wrong way around? Oh, I'm going to have to get that one out later because uh. it's just spun around the wrong way. So it's I for iced Volvo. <laughs> I have no idea what one of them is. Nope. If anyone can tell us what an iced Volvo is, please do let us know. It's not like a choc ice, like, like it, it. A choc well, ice. I don't know, you know, like our version of a choc ice. <laughs> showing your age now, I think, Lady M. Do they even sell, sell choc yeah, ices? Yes, of course still. they do. We've got J for Jackaroo. Okay, what? Right. Jack Jackaroo and Jack. I can't, hands are in the way. Jackaroo? And Jackaroo J and Jill. Jack and Jillaroo. Jack and Jill. Jackaroo and oh, Jillaroo. Yeah. Uh, right. That's got something to do with animals and. Okay. Horses and chasing bulls or something, is it? I don't know. Not quite sure. Oh, something so they've got uh, the little lines like yeah, our, like our one, one pound. Yeah. Is it a lefty? <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a lefty in a coin that's round. Okay, K for kangaroo. Yeah. I uh, L for uh, Lamington. 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 So is that, is that a cheese or something? It's got like something I don't stuck. Know, is it or a biscuit something or a cake stuck in it. or Look, something. It's got the Australian flag stuck in it. It looks a bit like a cake, maybe. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> An M for meat pie. Absolutely. <laughs> is, this, is this the northeast of England set? No, I don't yeah. know. Meat pie, sausage rolls. Mm. So then we've got, uh, where are we now? There we go. R for Ramsey Street, of course, no. for mm. neighbours. Oh, oh, sorry, N, N for neighbours, but it's got Ramsey Street on. Well, does anybody not know what Neighbours is? Everyone has surely has seen, surely has seen Neighbours. It's still going, I think, isn't it? I think so. Uh, o oh. for Outback. Outback, yeah. P for Platypus. Anyone who's seen Perry the Platypus? Awesome. He's a semi-aquatic, egg-laying mammal of action. Uh, I'm not sure he's real, though. I think he's a celebrity plat platypus. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm guessing they must be native to Australia then, if they he, are, the platypus yes. is on. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Is it? Uh, no. Right. What is this? Mm. Quaker? It's a quaker. Yeah. What a quaker. It looks like some of kind of small rodent. Mm. Kind of piggy faced. Like, it, a bit like a hamster, maybe? Yeah. Is it a mole? Could be Danger Mouse's <laughs> uh, friend Penfold. Yeah. Uh, team, are you team hamster or team mole? Not sure what that is. I'm sure yeah. someone will be able to tell us what, all, what, all these, what all these are. I'll tell you one thing about these, though, Lady M. They're a bit boring. As in, they're all the same colour. They're like that goldy colour. They've all got colour. the same kind yeah, of that little, rainbow mm, effect to them. I do yeah. think I like our... I, was a, I think I prefer ours. Our a little bit, be a bit better. Still cool. They're still cool, though. Royal Flying Doctor Service. Oh, nice. yeah, Oh, course. I've seen the TV yes, show, The Flying absolutely. Doctors. Absolutely, yeah. That must have been Australian, wasn't it? It was, yes. Because if you live in the it's outback, surfboard. it's a long way to a hospital. I suppose it is. One dollar surf life saving. Ooh, interesting. Wow. Is that a gadri? Looks like a, a gentleman surfing. A gentleman with a surfboard between his ears? No. Ears? Between his legs. <laughs> Even. I think he's, you've got he's, something between your ears to do. It's not your brain. Is he riding it? What's he, what's he doing now? Is he flipping it? Or what's the... He's, he's, is he carrying it? No, it's between his legs. Don't get that. Maybe I can't surf, but... Yeah. Hey, oh, I've gone off this set now, lady. I'm going to... Wait, 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 I'm already kidding. Still good. Right, we're up to T. T for... Thongs. Thongs. Oh, that's the uh, flip flops, flip -flops. isn't it? Yeah. Thongs. Mm -hmm. Tea for thongs. Still a bit boring. I mean, we've got tea for tea. Oh, it's a ute. It's a beaut of a ute. V. Vegemite. Vegemite. <laughs> okay, let's go over here to V. And another Vegemite sandwich. I'm from the land down under. <laughs> Vegemite. It must okay. be a staple of the Australian cuisine. Yeah. Uh, what have you got there? That's a wheat bix. Wheat bix. Wheat bix. Ooh, interesting. Mm. I thought wheat bix were like the um, 
like the the fake version like from aldi or little yeah you know, rather usually, yeah, yeah. you get yeah. wheat bix right okay yeah. so they must be big on the old wheat bix yeah. nice or wheat bix as they call them i'm not going to be able to pronounce this lady i'm Zantippy. Z Zantip? It's it's there yes. anyway. Oh, yeah. hang on, hang on. Oh, cocktail stick alert. <laughs> so anyone who wants to know where Zantippy is, it's right at the, just to the south of that arrow. Yeah, uh, so if you look, a little blob, I reckon. Yeah, so if you're looking on a map of Australia, look for the arrow and then go right to the bottom of the arrow and you'll see <laughs> that little blob of uh, Zantippy, I assume that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. English is not like my... X marks the spot. It's not my st strong suit. Uh, two left. So what's that? A, a va Vowie? Yowie. Oh, yeah, of course. It's a Y, isn't it? Yes. Idiot, sorry. A Yowie. So that looks like a Yeti or something. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Mm, yeah. A Yowie. Yeah, like the Australian version of the Bigfoot or, mm. like you say, the Yeti. Looks like a cartoon character. Yeah. And last but not least, we've got Z. Zuba Duba. Oh no, the side that was a bit jolly that one. I was gonna say, yeah. It's a Puba Scuba. Zuba Duba. Was that the deck walked in? Zuba Duba. Zuba Duba. What does it say on the things? Orange, pineapple, lime, bubblegum, raspberry, cola, fairy floss, and black currant. So these are um, They look like ice pops. Ice pops, yeah. Um, they do, don't they? That must be the called Zupa Dupas. Wow. We used to as kids when we used to get them. Um, was it Mister Freeze? Mister Freeze. You cut yeah. the end. You cut the end off. Suck the thing he wanted to go on, and then light the end, and it become a Lizzie dripping. So I'm not oh, recommending a Lizzie dripping. So if you that you've got the you've got the yeah no I totally get what you say. Yeah. So then you set you'd set fire to the to the end, and all the plastic would melt. It would drip. So it'd be a Lizzie dripping. So you turn it from a Mister Freeze to a Lizzie dripping. Right. Never lived you, lady. Em. Anybody watching this, I don't recommend that, by the way. No. Just, just something you used to do back in the day to keep yourself entertained. Right. In the northeast, not like that now. So there it is. There is the complete, the complete set. Wow. So yeah, I'm glad I got it. I think it's, it's well worth forty quid. Yeah, I um, like it. It's it's what you would call it. It's good. It's good value compared to uh, compared to ours. Yeah. I, I'm not so keen on the so Not so keen on the colours. The colours are a little bit boring. Uh, let's see what it says. Australian Government, Royal Australian Mint, the Great Aussie Coin Hunt, a true blue coin collection. The Royal Australian Mint has assembled an entire alphabet of things that make us feel Aussie every day, from our favourite bickies to the togs we wear, from the utes we drive to the roos we dodge, from the outback we love to the sports we play. Celebrate Australia by collecting all 26 coins. For further information, go to the Great Aussie Coin Hunt. Oh no, go, oh, on the great, the great Aussie Coin Hunt, www.aussiecoinhunt.com.au. Mm -hmm. So anybody wants any further information on there, please, uh, please feel feel free to do so. Cool. Yeah, that way around. Yep. And then we're back, uh, back to the other oh, Zant Zantippi. Yeah, oh, good day. Right, yeah. And there's that What's... whatever that is, that Yeti thing we were. Ah, oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually, what, what, what are these? Are you? They're the dollars. Oh, the the different. Yeah, they've got different, different letters, letters what, on. So it's an R, for example, so one yeah. dollar. Have we got? Have we got a favourite? Is it too early. Says I've never. I never even. I'd have to have a thorough good look at them again. Yeah, I've never even Did clapped eyes on them. Actually, I just wanted it because I thought it was cool. I say it was such good value. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make an instant decision. That um, my favourite, the platypus, is definitely up there. Yeah. And I'd rather probably think for a Perry the platypus. I quite like the uh, the quaker, and I quite like the. The, the yaoi. I'm going with the yaoi. Should we do a collective favourite then and say it's the yaoi? Yaoi. Okay. okay. So that is mine and Lady and This is the Bungle Collects Coins favourite. It, it is a little the like yaoi. Bungle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Certainly and at the moment you. with that beard. And I say a silver medal will give to the platypus. Yeah. And then bronze will go with that one. So yeah, please with that Lady M. I look yeah. forward to just basically putting that back in its sleeve and leaving it in the filing cabinet. But saving the knowledge that I know that I have actually, I've got one. So well pleased with that wee little ripper, bonzer, etc, etc. Right, I think we're done then. So it's okay. our, our first product review. So raftree.co.uk, you provide the insert, inserts and all kinds of coin tube merchandise. So thank you very much, Mark, for sending us that. And I say our first, uh, I don't know, first time we've had something brand new. We've never... 
never do anything like that on the, on the yeah. channel have we where we've shown no. that so that's that right i'm all gone and we're all done i think if uh, if we oh of course we've got the giveaway live so we've already just launched the giveaway at the time of filming so i'm quite sure we're not at 15 uh, 100 subscribers yet 1500 well, it so would be you, nice if we were it would we're trying to get there before our birthday the channel's birthday is the 16th of february 2020 mm -hmm. so if you haven't joined our uh sorry if you haven't subscribed please do and then go to the giveaway and leave a comment and like that video and you've got a chance of winning a, a, a beautiful uh strike your own coin uh, three prizes in fact but anyway just go and have a look at that i'm sure we all know what's what right bonza thanks very much for watching and we will see you in the next episode